Well, some Hartford County parents are upset with the district school reopening plan, which will get kids back into the classroom by March 1st. Now, last night, the board announced that elementary students will be the first group to go back, followed by middle and high school. But it'll only be for one day a week for most students. WMEO 2 News' Ray Strickland tells us tonight some parents feel that's simply not good enough. A Hartford County parent told me the district sending students back into the classroom for one day a week isn't enough to make up for the amount of in-person instruction student lost over the past year. She believes this plan won't work for students, including her own, struggling with virtual learning. It just feels to me like too little too late. Kimberly Rice has two kids in the Hartford County School District. One is a kindergartner, the other a second grader. Both are having a hard time with virtual learning. But Rice says her kindergartner has struggled the most. You know, she was so excited to go to big kid school and to um, start school and now you know, she just sits at the computer and says she's bored and she cries. For a month, she's advocated to get kids back into school buildings and her wish finally came true. The district announced a return to in-person learning on Monday. Under the plan, elementary students will be among the first group to return on March 1st. Middle schoolers and high schoolers will head back on the 15th of March. But these students will only go back one day a week. Rice says not nearly enough to make up for lost time. And it's not really fixing the problems and the learning gaps, they're not going to be fixed with one day a week. The board's decision came after the governor called for schools to reopen, saying the evidence shows it's safe to return. Hartford County's reopening plan is largely based on following CDC protocols, but it also factors in teachers getting the vaccine. During Monday's board meeting, the county's health officer expressed his worry about the community letting its guard down when schools reopen. And that's going to be a problem that we should be guarding against. And while Rice is happy about her kids going back to school, she believes three or four days a week would have been more reasonable. We could do better. Now parents still have the option to send their kids back into the classroom. Teachers are also not required to get the vaccine. Reporting in Hartford County, Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News.